So here is the countdown timer for the September equinox. As you can see, we have less than one day remaining. I will be announcing the three judges in a separate video shortly that will also detail how you can submit your contest entries. Before doing that, however, I want to introduce you to the latest from our friend Walter Bislin, which is an app demonstrating the operation of a very unique type of sundial and Walter also provides a template and instructions on how you can build one of these yourself. And what is unique about this sundial is the way it clearly demonstrates the equinox sun angles and also the straight line path of the sun across the sky on the day of the equinox. So let's take a look at the sundial. This is what it looks like and Walter has also kindly provided blueprints in PDF format and very clear instructions on how to build this sundial yourself. And the best way to understand the operation of the sundial is to see it working in Walter's app. There you can see a model of the globe with the sundial placed on the surface and we have a series of sliders here. The first one is local time, the next one is latitude, then longitude so you can position the sundial to any location on earth we can then also adjust the earth's tilt and that will allow us to test the sundial on different days of the year when the earth's tilt is zero that is the day of the equinox when the tilt is neither towards or away from the sun it is perpendicular and therefore has zero effect and then we can adjust the angle of the sundial itself. By default, it automatically orientates itself relative to the latitude. So the first thing we'll look at is the equinox and for that you need to leave the earth tilt at zero and the delta angle at zero. And that means the sundial will have the correct orientation at all times as you change latitude. If we just move it slightly further north, it's going to give us a better angle to view the shadow movement as we change time of day. And what we can do now is move this local time slider and when you do that you can see the day and the night position changing on the globe. But more specifically we are seeing the accurate indication of the shadow on this equinox sundial. As you can see we have two parallel lines at all times. It is showing the 090 sunrise angle the local noon angle matching latitude and the 270 degree sunset angle. And the reason it is showing this accurately is because one, the sun is moving in a straight line across the sky on the day of the equinox and two, the sundial actually has the same orientation for any location on the earth that it would have on the equator. It is the same angle and when we move the time slider again we are seeing the same parallel lines indicated. And that is true for any position on the earth. And you can see even if we move the sundial directly to the north pole and then adjust the local time, we have the identical shadow path on the sundial. And it's worth pointing out that on the left here, we have a representation of the celestial sphere, the ecliptic, the celestial equator. And as you can see, on the day of the equinox, the sun is crossing the celestial equator. And the same is true once again, if we move the sundial to the south pole. Again moving the local time slider you can see the shadow path produced on the sundial is identical. So we have been explaining to flat earthers for quite some time now that the equinox sun angles are absolute proof the earth cannot be flat and this is another visualization tool that will help them understand the geometry that many of them still appear to be struggling with. The way you can verify it is to assemble one of these sundials yourself and test it at your location. 
You can simulate it in the app by setting your specific location on the Earth and then verifying that you get the same results with a real sundial on the day of the equinox. And I realise we have less than one day to go. I personally won't have time to build one of these for tomorrow, but I certainly will for the next equinox in March 2019. And that's the beauty of the equinox. It comes around every six months, twice a year. We have absolute proof that is easily verified by anyone taking the time to make a real observation on that day that the Earth cannot be flat. So take a look at Walter's app and if you have the opportunity to build one of these sundials for the next equinox please do, I certainly will be and that will give you the opportunity to make real observations and confirm for yourself that they match the indication shown in the app. And thanks to the great work of Walter once again we have yet another visualization tool that will help people realize why we live on a globe and why the earth is not flat. So thanks Walter, we appreciate your work every time.